a blessed morning one and all this is your apostle Elijah Peter Chambers once more with a pounding word hallelujah a harsh one and also an intriguing one and our topic today is my story put behind bars for speaking the say the Lord and this is our 87th series and our theme corn hallelujah to win full time people says and at the same day leaf go water type right hallelujah I could remember in 2020 when I came out and the Lord gave me the revelation of the evil that Jamaica and the leaders, the clergymen, were heading into, hallelujah, that would cause such destruction to the nation. And every very one of you bashed, opposed, his back at the man of God and said that the Lord did not spoke to me. Now we're seeing the manifestation of the prophetic word and all of those who came out, hallelujah, bashing me, that that's not the way to speak to the leader of the land. So I ask you the question, why so many bloodshed? Hallelujah. Why so many accidents? Why so many murder? So many scammers? Hallelujah. Corruption, nepotism, all man of evil has taken over the land. And listen, one must take responsibility. And there are some of you who are saying, that we should not speak to the leader in the manner in which he is the one who is responsible for the nation. If the head is sick, the body automatically will become sick. And the Bible says in 2 Chronicles 17, 14, because there are many cry, some feminist prophet coming out. Hallelujah! Behaving like a female, a grease of their lip like a female select their fingers cut their fingers like female gesturing like a feminist you're a man stand up like a man talk like a man gesture like a man behave like a man and quit behaving like you're a feminist and i want some of you to understand hallelujah that the ancestral spirit cannot help Jamaica. The homosexual organization cannot. And all of you with your false pride, false humility, hallelujah, and your false wisdom, you have dragged Jamaica into destruction. Hallelujah. And the Bible said that if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, hallelujah, and seek my peace and turn from their wicked ways then will i hear from heaven and i will forgive their sins and heal the land this is the antidote a prophet coming from abroad cannot help jamaica hallelujah your homosexual agenda cannot hallelujah the world health organization cannot none of you but jesus christ the son of the living God. Jamaica is at a state where everyone is in fear of the bloodshed in the land. We could remember when the Lord spoke to me about the leaders of this land, how they have signed over Jamaica to the dark world. Hypocrites, false Christian, political activists said that I was false and arrogant. You were warned for two years and every one of you mocked, laughed, cheered, disgraced me. Hallelujah. The whole time people say, who are the last laugh? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The Lord spoke to me to let some of these so-called prophets know that the spirit of the ancestor cannot help Jamaica. Hallelujah. So you could call down the ancestral spirit against the crime and violence and the murder, the bloodshed and the sacrifice that can't help. The Bible said Satan cannot fight against himself and stand. Only the blood of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, has the ability to change Jamaica. And if the people, the leaders and the clergy
clergymen and the political leaders come down from their pomp and pride and humble themselves. And I don't believe that the leader of this land recognized the evil that he has brought upon the land, the judgment that he has brought upon the land, getting connected with evil men and women, Baba, and causing judgment upon the land. That cannot change the land. The homosexual organization cannot change the land with the so-called self-made prophets behaving like girls cannot bring back a change to Jamaica. Prophet, you need deliverance. You were molested. You were afflicted homosexually. And you come with your spirit. You need deliverance. The Lord told me, no, I'm a deliverance minister. The Lord has gave me the power many people came from all over the world they flew down for deliverance for me to cast out devils to heal the sick to set the oppressed free hallelujah and i know when someone is bound possessed controlled manipulated with a so-called self-profit behaving like girls cannot bring back the change to jamaica the antidote is repentance jamaica as backslidden and functioning with false humility. This character opposes the will of God, just like the scribes and the Pharisees. The Lord asked me to tell the nation of Jamaica, you are like the Jews who have known God, but you are backslidden without even recognizing that they have been separated from God. Remember the Lord reveals to me that Jamaica will become the field of blood what are we seeing? The bloodshed. And the, the land has become the, 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 the field of spewing of blood. Hallelujah. All the prophets who came out and speak against the evil. You all side said that they are false. And the so-called prophets who defend the leader. You all bash them and disgrace them. Hallelujah. The Lord reveals to me in a vision. Of the, of the agenda of the present government that they want to turn Jamaica in a one government hallelujah so every legislation that is immense in the parliament house cannot be opposed listen this hallelujah this is where dictatorship will be flexed the people of Jamaica who supported this evil, they themselves will become slaves. And every rights of the citizens will be taken from them. Every communist control by their laws. We're getting back into communist laws and creed. Hallelujah. Since this government came into power, Jamaica is functioning under a curse, not prosperity. Because and you can't give prosperity. Neither Mr. Tuftan or the world, uh, the world Health Organization. None of you. Only Jesus gives prosperity. The so-called prosperity was used as a facade to blind the hypocritical Christians and to control the nations. Those who come in out saying that the leader of Jamaica is not to be blamed are the very ones who contribute to the destruction. I cannot understand how some of you, Uno, say, God, call Uno. I know all dressed like a girl. Hallelujah. And your lips greasy like a girl. God Almighty, your nails look like a girl. As the Lord reveals all those coming out, says God sent them. The Lord said he did not send you. And it will be proven. Some say God sent them. And they have to run out of Jamaica. They have to run out of Jamaica. Some of your feminist prophets. You think Jamaica people are fool? Hallelujah. Jamaica people. Hallelujah. We are a set of people. Who don't entertain Fagatism. So you come with your fagot spirit. Get tired, Jamaica. Let me let me let me implore every very one of you. Jamaica is heading down destruction broadhole. 
and our leaders all of us as leaders in this land must take responsibility from Andrew Wellness to the clergymen to the umbrella church to the evangelical church to the Christian fraternity right down to the last citizen of Jamaica the Bible is saying that if my people hallelujah the question is are the people of Jamaica are the people of God hallelujah if so they will repent and turn from the wicked ways if it is not so they will continue in their sin hallelujah to repeat to God the antidote is repentance repent and turn from your wicked ways and jewelness and your old peer team repent and bow in humility if you repent not you all shall all likewise perish hallelujah the wages of sin is death but the gift of God is eternal life you brought this land you initiate this land into the occultism in the freemasonry in the lodges the dealer and jamaica has been brought into the dark world the underworld who the baba shatter and there has been blood sacrifices